Hey, I'm going to show you how to install and play Mugen on your Mac. Uh, number one is download Crossover. You can see the uh, link in the description. This is just a trial. I ended up purchasing mine. This will only lasts for 30 days, so after that, it's up to you if you want to keep playing the game or if you just want to give it up. Um, it really lags for me on Parallels, and uh, Crossover only works for the uh, Intel processors on the Mac. So, I hope you have one. Then you need to make a folder called Applications in your user folder if you don't have one, and then make a new folder in that called Crossover, and this is where you're going to place the uh, game file. And to do that, you need to download the game. The link is in my description. It's a zip file. All you have to do is double click it to unzip it, and then put it in your Crossover folder, which is in your Applications folder. Now you need to configure with Crossover, so what you're going to want to do is open Crossover up and from there you're going to click on Configure and Install Software. Since this is pretty much a homebrew application and not made by or a major company I guess you'd say, it's not going to be recognized. You need to scroll down until you see Other Application and then click on Select an Installer and then choose an installer file. From here you're going to want to go back into your application folder and then into your crossover folder and you'll see the uh, game file folder and then click on the .exe and click uh, use this as the installer. This is going to load up the game for you. You shouldn't have to do this again from here on out. Um, you should be able to just pull it up from your recent games as long as you played on a regular basis. Now you can test it out. You can click on File, Open, go back to your .exe file, and double click it, or click on Open. And there you go. Um, you have it on your Mac. It looks like it's delayed. I'm using I show you to capture this tutorial, so it's not the game. The game runs fine with its speed. It's um, the I show you program is lagging just a little bit behind. These are the characters I've added. When you load up the file I've uploaded for the first time, the only one you're gonna have is Kung Fu Man. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube, on Google, as to how to add characters. I will show you how to add them text-wise in the different files you need to add to, but as far as finding them, you're on your own. And here you go. Superman vs. Doomsday. It's what I am. I don't care why! Fight! After you've downloaded a few characters, uh, what you're going to want to do is drag and drop them into your CHARS folder, which is under the main game folder. What you're going to want to do is make sure the .def file in each matches up exactly with the name of the folder. If you don't, it's not going to load, it's not going to show. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to keep up with. From here, to get them into the game, you need to go to Data and then open select.def. I'm opening this with Windows Parallels with Notepad. I also use Notepad for Mac, uh, the trial version, and it worked fine. Um, that's going to be on the end of the video, but for the most part I just use this for Parallels. I know a lot of people don't have it. Uh, once you get Notepad to open, it explains how to do the characters, but uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown. There's going to be a place that says insert your characters below. What you're going to want to do is type the name of the folder a comma, space, stages, backslash, the name of the folder again, and .def. If your character doesn't have a background, you're going to get the plain Jane blue squared background. You can add extra stages down here the same way, stages, comma, um, space, the name of the stage, .def, and then make sure you have the files in your stages folder. Um, to do the screen, you need to open mugen.cfg again in Notepad and scroll down. And you're going to see a video win. I changed mine to 640 by 480. And down here under direct X mode, um, 
You can choose from hardware, software, windowed, overlay, safe, and none. Windowed is how it's going to look normally. Um, I tried hardware, software, and overlay, and it all came out really crappy. When you're done, just make sure you save. Um, here's the view of Notepad for Mac. Um, it pretty much works the same way. Just make sure you export instead of save on the Mac version. So there you have it. Um, this is just a basic quick tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to send me a message or leave a comment. Um, and I hope it helps. One. Fight. Fight. <laughs>